Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Tuesday morning, May 2nd. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. So yesterday was our second smallest trading range of the year and our sixth lowest volume. So again, we're still contracting here. Um, the market never really consolidated yesterday. Today, it looks like they're attempting to do that. And again, that's healthy. There's nothing wrong with doing this prior to the Fed. Right now, if we take out yesterday's low, we'll initially be coming into a three-day balance, okay? I would count Friday, Monday, today. If we really were to get legs and take out Friday's low, then we would see how much of, the, uh, of a balance we would encompass. But for now, to start, it would basically be a three-day balance. Again, nothing wrong with that. NQ, on the other hand, has spent the entire overnight inside of yesterday's range. Look at that. So they really haven't moved much um, in the overnight. Righty, right now a little bit below yesterday's low also. So again, we have uh, jolts coming out at 10 a.m. this morning. Uh, another, another number that should be out prior to the opening. We'll see if that moves the market at all. But other than that, this market's probably going to be in a holding pattern until tom uh, tomorrow with the Fed, right? Um, so what can we expect today? Well, again, gaps have not held this year. Downside gaps, we've had 16 of them so far this year. Two have held. So 12.5% of downside gaps have held this year. Now we have 75 minutes to go. We might not even gap lower. But if we do, the odds of the gap holding are probably slim, right? Your targets right off the bat will be two things uh, that I thought we had a chance to get to yesterday, um, early in the day, and then again later in the afternoon, but we never did. So first would be the 10Y point of control, which right now the overnight low got just below, then our afternoon pullback low from Friday. So those would be targets. As far as a game plan, well, again, depending on the gap, uh, you know, they just haven't held. So I really look, can't look to take a short against this gap, especially if it's going to be pretty small, which right now it is. Again, we might not even gap lower, but I, I would not be taking a short against that gap. Where would I take the short? Well, possibly if we are to gap lower or, um, and then take it, fill in the gap, and then we see what happens at value low. And then again, use the overnight high as our uh, out. out if it was to push up. As far as a long, if we are to gap lower initially and get a decent push down and hold the gap, still don't think that gap would hold, but maybe, maybe, and now again, you could front run the overnight low. That's first and foremost, because we know they have a nice history of front running it, but we will have lower value to start. So that'll be in the seller's corner. And if they do get the overnight low right away, well, then they'll have two things off their checklist. But again, we'll see what kind of tempo and volume they have where you could maybe take a long against the afternoon pullback from Friday and then use below half back as you're out. Again, these are just early plays um, as the market first starts painting its picture for us this morning. Um, and then on the chart, so right now, the monthly is still balanced. We got very close to a monthly balance high. Again, whether you use three months or six months, that's very important. The weekly is still up and healthy. The daily right now, after one time framing up three days with a pretty ugly candle yesterday, by the way, is looking to come into a three-day balance. Uh, right now, the 20-day moving average closed at 411.15. So we'll see um, where that comes into play once we open. Good luck trading today. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this channel. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.